It's no secret that Chromebooks are a fantastic option for a budget laptop, especially when compared to similarly priced Windows computers. They're of decent build quality, and honestly, the trackpad and keyboard are actually somewhat usable. One thing that I can't appreciate, however, is Chrome OS. It's meant to be a lightweight and easy to run OS, but that comes at the cost of not being able to run, well, most apps that you might want to run. Luckily, there is a way to install Windows 11 or any other OS on your Chromebook. You'll need a Chromebook, obviously, a USB with your OS of choice, mine is Windows 11, an internet connection, a USB mouse, and if you're planning to install Windows 11, you'll also need a keyboard, one with function keys. Lastly, you'll also need a 64GB drive at minimum for Windows 11, which you can buy online if you don't have a large enough drive. If you enjoy this video, consider subscribing and following me on Twitch at RealBrandonYen. I do gaming and IRL streams there. Thank you. Now, not all Chromebooks are supported by this process, so the first step is to check if your Chromebook is actually supported. Check the developer information link in the description and search for your specific model of Chromebook. The main thing that we're looking for is the code name. Write it down somewhere because we'll be using this towards the end of the video. Check to see if your model is supported, along with the specified code name. If it's supported, great. If it's not, don't try to attempt this as it will break your device. Now, before we get started, I do just want to give a couple of disclaimers. First, you'll likely be voiding your warranty by doing this process, and you also won't be able to revert back to Chrome OS once you're done. You will have to erase all the data on your drive, and there is a possible chance that it could break your device while flashing the firmware. And with that out of the way, let's get started. The first thing that you'll need to do is disable hardware write protect on your device. On models made between 2012 and 2013, there's a jumper or a switch to disable hardware write protection. On models made between 2014 and 2017, there's a screw that you have to remove on the motherboard of the laptop. On Chromebooks newer than 2017, the CR50 security chip can be temporarily disabled by removing the battery and running off of the power adapter. If you're not sure what you'll need to do, check the link in the description that will give you a list of devices and how to disable hardware write protect for each one. The next step is to put your device in developer mode. You can do this by holding the escape, refresh, and power button on your keyboard for a few seconds to enter recovery mode. Press Ctrl D then enter when you see the screen, and your device will turn OS verification off and restart. After it restarts, press Ctrl D again to enter Chrome OS in developer mode. Now, we need to flash the new firmware to allow us to boot Windows. After going through the setup process, open a Chrome tab and press Ctrl Alt T to open a cross window. Type shell and press enter. For this process, you'll need to be connected to the internet. Now, type the following command that's on screen. This will download the script we need to flash the firmware. Then, type this command. Finally, type sudo firmware-util.sh and press enter. You should see a screen like this. If hardware write protect is disabled, the line that says FWWP should say disabled. To flash the firmware, select option 2 and press enter. If it asks you to save the current ROM to a flash drive, you can plug in a flash drive and then save the file to the USB drive in case you need to reflash the ROM. Once the flashing is successful, return to the main menu and shut off your laptop. We're now ready to upgrade the drive if you have a bigger one, or install Windows if you don't. To install Windows, just plug in your USB drive and your USB mouse and start up your laptop. If you see some sort of command line, just type exit and hit enter, and then you can use your arrow keys to navigate to the boot menu and select your USB drive to boot off of.
Now, the problem with Windows 11 is that there are a lot of requirements that most Chromebooks just don't meet. In order to bypass them, press Shift and F10 and type REG Edit. This will open up the registry editor. Navigate to HKey Local Machine, then System, then Setup, then right click, create a new key, and name it Lab Config. Then right click again and add five D word values with value data one. Bypass CPU check, bypass RAM check, bypass secure boot check, bypass storage check, and bypass TPM check. Then close the registry editor and command prompt, continue and choose the custom install. When you get to a section with a list of drives, make sure that you delete every option until there's only one option left that's named unallocated space and then install Windows on it. After Windows is done installing, it'll restart on its own. Unplug your USB drive after it shuts down and you can continue with the installation of Windows. Here's a quick tip. To install Windows 11 without internet, press Shift and F10 again and type OOBE forward slash bypass NRO, press enter, and you'll be able to install without internet. When you get into Windows, open a browser and go to coolstar.org and navigate to Chromebooks and then install. Enter the codename of your Chromebook here, and it will give you a list of drivers to install. Start with the Microsoft Visual C++ library. A lot of the other drivers depend on this. Then install the necessary drivers one by one. Everyone should install the EC, keyboard, and touchpad drivers. The optional drivers are the touchscreen, if you have touchscreen, and Intel Rapid Storage Technology, if you have your drives in a RAID configuration. Now, depending on which model of Chromebook that you have, there will be three different options for audio. The first is if there are no audio drivers at all. Great, you're good to restart and use your Chromebook. The second option is if there is a direct download link for audio drivers. All you need to do is download and run the installer, restart, and you're good to use your Chromebook. The last option is if you get a message like this, and it means that you'll need to pay for audio drivers. A lot of work has been done by Coolstar to develop these drivers, so it's only fair that they're compensated a little bit. The price is $10 for audio drivers, and similarly, Thunderbolt 4 drivers are $25. When you join their Discord, please remember that it's not my community, so please be respectful when asking for help. Thank you. If you have any issues with installation, I'll leave a bunch of links to guides and documentation for things used in this guide. All right, I hope your installation goes well, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.